Hey YouTube, this is Robinats1 doing a um, trailer review for The Wolverine. Um, the Wolverine trailer just came out, um, and the movie looks um, like it's going to be something new. Um, Wolverine, for those of you who don't know, the Wolverine takes place after X-Men 3. Um, the Wolverine has basically been, um, away from the X-Men for a while, um, he, and um, sort of going alone, um, he's very, very ragged. He sort of reminds me of Old Man Logan. So, um... The Wolverine is... called to Japan by a guy from his past who Logan saved in what looks to me as though it's Hiroshima. But mm, maybe not. I don't know. But it's certainly something with a huge, huge explosion. Um, that we sort of... We do, in um, Wolverine Origins, we do see Wolverine at, um... You know, at a... In, like, Japan. In, um, Wolverine Origins, I just said that. Wow. <laughs> um. Yeah. And basically they say that they can give Wolverine back his I m mortality. Um. So it looks to me as though we're still going to get that cure um, storyline from X-Men 3. Um, but, it, but it also looks like we're going to have like the mix between the cure and a Weapon X kind of thing. Where um, Wolverine's powers get taken away. And... Um, which to me I find a little bit gimmicky because um I don't think Wolverine could survive without his healing factor. Like cuz I thought with the whole claws thing you needed a healing factor to um use the ability. Either way there's something wrong there's something wrong with his powers and Wolverine's going to be on a journey figuring it out. Um, also, it seems that um, Wolverine is the way he is because of the death of Jean Grey. Um, which, again, I sort of find... Um, it makes sense for the timeline of the movie, but I was sort of a bit, like, oh. So, he's all depressed and moody because of the death of Jean Grey. Okay, then. But no, I think the movie looks pretty good. Um, I... I like the fact that, um, there seems to be, like, this organisation kind of feel to it. Where, sort of, there's this Japanese organisation, um, sort of involved with the mutant population. We also get, um, the Silver Samurai in there, it looks like and, um, a red-headed character, who I don't know the name of. 
So yeah, it looks like the movie should be pretty good. Bye.